we started recently. Uh, it's currently a hospitality exchange network, like the Hostax. Um, so you can find places to stay, people to stay with, and you can uh, have people at your home. Um, that's basically the, the ground of it. Um, the ideas that we later uh, also do other forms of sharing, like uh, that's why it shows the, the word trust roots, uh, because we think trust is, is very important uh, in online dealings, and, and uh, there's a lot of potential in, in trust online, and it's not currently uh, really used as much as, as possible. Like, about that from the slides. Um, so the reason we started it is that there's a need for a non-profit open source hospitality exchange. Uh, there are two other ones which I'll also uh, mention later. Um, and there's a need for like niche uh, networks. So you can, like if you're, if you're in college shopping for example, it's basically one big pool of people. and. Uh, I personally get a lot of requests from people that don't really interest me at all, like uh, some college kids from the US are like, hey, I'm coming to Brussels and I want to you know, go to the, the Atomium and Ground Plus and I'm like, mm, no, I don't really need that. Uh, <laughs> but if there are <laughs> like uh, people that I can hang out with, and, like hackers, I would, I would I like to host hackers because then we really have stuff to talk about and, and it's obvious. So uh, there's definitely a need. Yeah, God shipping also, which I talked about in the, in the earlier presentation, is, is a for profit and it's just too uh, mainstream these days. So it's, yeah. Even, even though that's, it, in a way, that's great, but there, there, there's a lot of potential uh, that we're missing out on, I think. Um, and also, we just did it because we, we can. So that's so. so the idea is to go step by step. We started with hitchhiking uh, because we also kind of behind HitchWiki, which is the biggest resource for hitchhikers. So like people standing inside the street, stick up the thumb is another but um, organized ride shares is actually about like being out there, meeting random people that you've never met. The reason is hitchhikers travel a lot more than average people because it's free to travel for them. So it's a good way to uh, bootstrap a network because uh, they talk a lot. If they like it, then they will tell other people to join up, especially once we actually have communities implemented. We just, at this point, it's just an MPP uh, that was launched uh, recently. And yeah, we, there's a lot of stuff we need to do quickly, but uh, we just didn't have the time. After hitchhikers, we'll add uh, these kinds of people, like freaking vegans plus hackers, like you in the room, musicians, uh, like uh, this kind of thing that I feel affiliated with personally, and, and people in our, like the, this, the funding team. Uh, afterwards, we'll leave it open to, for people to create their own communities. Uh, I'm thinking about that you can create your community of uh, knitters. Once there is a thousand people that like uh, handicrafts, like knitting or whatever, then the, then the community is like given like, uh, free until that until you have specific amount of um, members in a specific community. It's not interesting to, to open it up, I think. Um, so the team is uh, well. Callum is back there in the room with the orange thing. Uh, raise your hand. So um, and then we have. Mikael, who did actually most of the work till now, uh, he did all the, the code of the current website. We wanted to start actually with Meteor, then he was like, I don't like Meteor, and I'm just going to implement it, and then suddenly there was actually something that worked, so we couldn't, just had to go with that, and we did. Uh, and Natalia and Carlos are in Spain, and uh, yeah, and that with me. And, uh, four of us were active uh, guide shopping volunteers when, when it was still non-profit. Uh, Kelly and me uh, in the like, 2007 stage, and, and Natalia and Carlos later. Uh, so we have an inside view of how, how that worked out. 
uh, and Mikhail has also, like, I, I kind of started HBKey, that's like a whole story about how HBK started. M Mikhail, he did like the maps in HBKey, uh, and we all volunteered with Be Welcome, which is an, another uh, non-profit open source data exchange network. Uh, so we launched uh, this last two, three months ago, I think, uh, and now we have almost 4,000 members. Uh, and it's, the beginning was a big spike, and then we thought maybe it will go down, but it's, like, it's actually keeping up nicely with the growth. I think this year we'd easily get 10,000 members. Uh, I just want to... There's people on the sea. There's people on the sea. <laughs> yeah, that's, there, there are actually islands there or yeah. something. Uh, some, some, I don't know. Like the source. You can check out their profile. I think it's a good shot today. So. Yeah, it's, 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 I checked out Azores. Azores, yeah. There are two people there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like growth, actually, just today I saw a blog post from somebody who was like, yeah, I started using Trust Roots and I really like it and it's, it's just nice to see that. Um, so, legally, uh, as of last Friday, we, we have a, a legal uh, organization, Limited by Guarantee in the UK. Which, uh, given the, the, the past with culture thing, was very important for us and also for a lot of people who are following us. And there's a whole community of people that are like reading exact like each little letter of. It's quite funny. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's. I don't really really want to deal with that, those details, but I think it's it's good that people are doing it. So it's. Uh, um, it's one other charity we chose that. Uh, well. Consciously, because if it would be a charity, it would be, I don't know, there's probably something that would be harder to do, like organizing collectives. Because we, we do like that way of working, uh, that you can just rent a place somewhere and then be there for a month and get stuff done. Uh, that's also the way card shuffling worked in the past. Uh, it can be productive, it can also be unproductive, it depends on how you set it up. But I think we, we have like a good team of people. <laughs> That. Um, so related stuff, there's uh, a couple of websites I want to mention. Hitchwiki.org was kind of uh, adopted in 2000, well, the domain name started in 2006. Before that, somebody else started it and we kind of migrated into this. Uh, has grown into the main resource for hitchhikers uh, with like, uh, yeah, a lot of information about spots, like where if you want to leave Paris to go to the north, like where do you put yourself to find a ride easily? Uh, this kind of information, and also about inf information about like um, differences between countries. Like it's really hard to hitchhike in Italy, in France. You, there are some ways that you can find out where cars from, and this kind of uh, like in Germany, if you want to go hitchhike to Berlin, go for the cars with the B and the number plates. This kind of tips are on it, um, and. We have on every page of HBK uh, a link to trust groups. So we have a <laughs> like steady stream of new signups because of that. It's a, it's a really nice way to start a project if you kind of know already that you will have people coming in because it keeps it yeah, growing. And, um, another, so the, that's why I want to do a community of dumpster divers. I'm not very active in this field myself, but it, it means like going into the, the trash and find food and uh, trash wiki was started 2008 uh, it's much more underground than hitch wiki because I found out within a month or two uh, Google was showing trash wiki for people looking for supermarkets in specific cities <laughs> and it's like mm, that's not such a good idea if supermarkets start finding themselves in there they they've so been crushing food to stop that for years they, the, the co-op I used to um, dump It's also because of the image and stuff. It's yeah. like, it's, uh, the only the main page and some <laughs> other pages without brand names are indexed by Google. Uh, your profile, yeah. It's, uh, so those two projects will, will allow us to easily uh, grow these two communities. Uh, then of course the question is, how do the other communities? 
Um, a related aspect is that there are other uh, non-profit hospitality exchange networks, and uh, we support them. Like uh, all, all founders of trusts were active and be welcome. Uh, there's also warm showers at work, so I'm um, about So be welcome is uh, officially registered in France, uh, but it's the problem with be welcome is it's not enough progress, so that's why we kind of left. Uh, there was a lot of talk, a lot of <coughs> detail, but not actual. It's very hard to do stuff if everybody can just say whatever they want without having shown that they are actually good at these things that they talk about. So it's a bit tricky. Um, it's also open source. Privacy is very important, so it's uh, it, it's a good thing. Uh, also, the Facebook is very... Um, um, sensitive topic. In Trustless, it shows that you can't sign up at Facebook, but you can link your profile. And then we want to get data, for those who have a Facebook profile, we want to get data out of Facebook into Trustless. Uh, because there is a lot of data in Facebook, like connections, and then like your, where are your friends. Uh, so we want to show that on the map. Um, and yeah, so that's what I've showered is uh, just for bicyclists. It's also it's nice. Uh, it works well. Uh, open source Drupal, so it's not something I would like to develop further. But uh, it's it's going well. They started actually uh, having like a yearly. They're asking for yearly donations, which is fine. I think if, like as long as an organization is honest about how they run and it's very transparent, it's, I think it's all really great. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the the site itself. Uh, well, uh, this is the map. So it's very simple. When you sign up, uh, you see the map. You can go to the islands here. Yeah? Uh, and you see, okay, there's something that is not working. That's how it is. Uh, okay. So this profile is quite empty. <laughs> but um, we don't even have, uh, you can't even upload your profile picture. It's just if you have a gravatar, email address, link, or connect to Facebook, oh, that is a bit slow, uh, then it shows, like, we'll have to encourage people to add more information to their profiles, uh, but, uh, yeah, and, and that's, it's, it's super basic, you can just contact uh, someone and that's, that's it, uh, and it works well, people are happy with it, so you just have to find a way to uh, make it smoother and uh, more complete and add the actual trust metrics like uh, let people add comments references about people they, uh, they have met uh, and I'm thinking about how like other ways of, of creating these trust values something I've uh, researched in the past and I want to pick up again um, I think that's about it so I can show you the last uh, the statistics so that's life number add like a Half an hour ago, it's less, so it's nice to see how it's updating. So um, that's it. Um, so we, we, we chose hitchhikers, of course, because we have this uh, leverage with hitchhiking. Uh, but I, I think there's a genuine need for this more uh, community-based hospitality exchange. Because people are much more likely to host people with whom they have some kind of affinity than, than not. Uh, uh, in the beginning, like... Ten years ago, it wasn't. I, I thought it was a good idea to have everything in one thing, and you now uh, I see, like, just practically, when people write to, write to me on culture thing, uh, then, or I write to people. It's, it's just. And the other thing, uh, we're very open to uh, opening it up, like, like, 
having an API, using open data uh, formats uh, for this kind of stuff, uh, like showing, like if, if there's a hacker community, uh, we'd love to have the hacker spaces on the map. So you can just see uh, this hacker space there, and there's some hackers there I can stay with. Uh, there, is, there is actually a project on GitHub, it's called Hacker Couch, yeah. and it's like yeah. couch surfing. Yeah, then it yeah, I, I, I forked it. It's, I mean, you fork it, and there's only like 10 people that forked it. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's a, but yeah, we want to get those people also on trust routes. Uh, of, of course, it's all open source, and so it's, yeah. There's, it, no, there's no exclusion. I mean, anybody can sign up. You don't have to like swear to be a hitchhiker or something. <laughs> <laughs> but the yeah, map yeah. is really, if you're hitchhiking, the map is really useful because like, when you have 5,000 people in one city, it's difficult to, you don't want necessarily to see them all on a map, but you're hitchhiking, you can find people that are in more rural areas on the map much more easily. So actually for hitchhikers, the, the simplest product we could build is, is kind of useful because you can say, oh, there's somebody who's outside of the city and maybe I can stop there more easily. Kind of thing. So, yeah. Thank you. We have to work out the details. Uh, I'm thinking about that you can say that you are a hitchhiker, uh, but you're also open to hosting everybody, or that you're also open to host hackers. And if you're open to hosting hackers, then somebody who says he's a hacker will see you. Uh, but somebody who says he's uh, an Erasmus student uh, will not see you, for example. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, at the beginning I was thinking of, of using uh, GitHub API and, and Wikipedia API to pull in contributions from people so they can link to their Wikipedia account. You can see, oh, they did these edits on Wikipedia. Uh, that, so, <laughs> <laughs> so that, but yeah, that, that's definitely a possibility to have some kind of interaction, but yeah, we'll, we'll probably do something in that direction. Thank you.